today's Red Dane top tip is about doing getting your TMR mixes right for your dairy or feedlot. Um, the first thing obviously is to have a well, a good quality mixer, well maintained with sharp blades with a working digital scale so that things can be measured and um, everything's got to be working correctly or you'll never get your mix done well. Um, the, the, the next most important thing is the procedure at which you mix. Generally we want to start with hay because we need the hay cut to the right sizes. Something like, like this is ideal, uh, short pieces about like a matchstick with good straight well cut edges uh, and that's why you need the sharp blades. So the first thing we do is put in the, the hay, uh, dump that in the mixer and then with experience you'll, do, you'll know the time that it takes to cut this hay to the, the required size. The hay has been mixed and cut to the right size. We then put in other feeds such as silage and concentrates and make sure everything is mixed up correctly. Uh, it's also good to know the moisture content of your ration. Uh, ideally cloud might somewhere between 50 to 38% dry matter. Uh, so once you've added the concentrates and the silages, you then add water to get us to the after we've put the haze and the forages like silage, we then add the concentrates into the mix and get it all mixed well together. It's very important uh, that the weighing of each ingredient is done correctly, so a programmable scale like this makes life a lot easier. This type of scale instructs the driver uh, how much of each ingredient to put and then once he's finished the mix like this it tells him which pen to go to and how much to offload in each pen. Without this kind of um, technology and, and assistance you'll never get your mixes right every time and you'll never get the right amount of food to each pen. Uh, obviously this, this type of mixer also has an easy control panel here for opening your doors and, and um, all the other attachments that you can get on the mixer. the proof is in the pudding and what we want is the right the right pudding for the cows with a totally homogeneous mix where every piece is, is in every every ingredient is in every bite we also want to make sure that we've cut the hay as as I explained earlier into nice little short pieces every, nothing should be really much longer than that and we want good sharp edges on the cuts like that that's very very important so the cows uh, also having it the right moisture content helps to reduce the amount of sifting um, because it, everything's kind of stuck together. But as I say, the proof is in the pudding. If the cows are eating everything and that whatever the leftovers are look very similar to what you fed in the first place, you know you've got it right.